This is Piney Prepper Bill. Today I wanted to talk about a couple different things. One of them was YouTube. Uh, I don't have enough, I have enough subscribers, I think, but I don't have enough views or hours watched and stuff like that to be monetized. And that, that's okay, I'm not here to be monetized and make money. But I got an email from YouTube with their new terms and conditions of service and stuff like that. But now, YouTube has the right to monetize. Or YouTube's right to monetize. YouTube has the right to monetize all content on the platform and ads may appear on videos from channels not in the YouTube, YouTube partner platform or program. So, I guess what I'm getting out of this is, I have a couple videos. I mean, most of my videos I get 50 or 200 views. But a couple of my videos have gotten a couple hundred. The ones I did on cooking, like the pickled eggs and the pickled hot dogs or whatever, I got over 2,000 views on those two. So maybe I should just switch over to stuff like that if I wanted to be monetized. But now YouTube, a couple of my videos have ads in them. When you click on a couple of my videos every now and then, there'll be an ad in the beginning. And I don't make any money off of that, but I guess YouTube can put ads on there and make money off of your videos and you don't get a dime. So that kind of pissed me off about YouTube. But the video I did yesterday, somebody sent me a thing on incentive programs and how far some people are willing to go to get the thing, the jab. In West Virginia, uh, they're giving away millions of dollars, free pickup trucks, guns. Justice questioned why someone would need a giveaway as motivation to protect themselves from COVID-19, but said it's the way of the world now, addressing those who have chosen not to get vaccinated. I don't know how in the world people are still sitting on the sidelines, he said, asking why in the world would you continue to take a chance? Getting more people vaccinated will save the state money on testing and hospitalization, he said. The giveaway will run from June 20th to August 4th, with prizes being handed out once a week. The first prizes, which will be awarded on Father's Day, will be... Hold on here. I got everything out of order now. One... $1 million prize, two, four-year scholarships to any West Virginia institution, two, new custom Rocky Ridge Ford F-150 pickup trucks, 25 weekend getaways to West Virginia state parks, five lifetime hunting and fishing licenses, five custom hunting rifles, five custom shotguns. Now, <laughs> This is just insane. I, I don't I don't understand why people would do any of this stuff. I mean, are you holding out for Ohio? Will Ohio's one million dollar vaccine lottery motivate people to get the shot? Experts say yes. So if you haven't gotten that by now, you're holding out. I mean, I most people I talk to aren't getting it regardless and yesterday I did a video on now they're going door to door a special COVID team going door to door to see if you've gotten it to help you with food there's all kind of assistance programs out there for rent for mortgages for food for internet for cell phones if this has impacted you in any way there's programs out there to help you but now you're going to go in for a million dollars or a brand new pickup truck to get it. How bad do things got to get before you do that? I don't understand why anybody would do that. I guess the money sounds like a good thing. But in West Virginia, after the first giveaway, a $1 million prize will be awarded each week. Playing on the governor's Beat 588 bad slogan. I don't know what that is. Uh, 1.588 grand prize and a 588,000 runner-up prize will be handed out on August 4th. 
Any state resident who has received at least one shot is eligible. To enter, residents will have to register on a website, which is still being developed. Uh, due to excitement generated by the giveaway, justice, justice expects a run on shots. Are you kidding me? Are you ready for this? Now, a lot of other states, I mean, Tennessee has, uh, Governor Bill Lee has no plans to offer incentives for receiving COVID-19 vaccines. He said they've offered the vaccine free. You can go almost anywhere and get the vaccine. If you want it, you're going to get it. If you don't, you don't. They're not going to go in debt. Now, a lot of these places, a lot of these states have gotten COVID money from the government. And once you get any kind of bailout from the government, you have to go along with what they say. And like New Jersey is getting so bad, Governor Murphy here, he, uh, he's making all these laws and regulations and mandates, but it has to be approved by the board or whatever. They're trying to make it, or he's trying to make it, so he, whatever he says goes, if he wants to make a law and pass a law, he can do so without anybody else vetoing it or agreeing with it. He can just make up what he wants, do it, and that's it. Well, evidently, they voted on it the other day. It didn't go through because the public was involved. The public said no. So I think today, it was either yesterday or today they're meeting, closed doors, no public's allowed, and they're going to vote on it again. So he has full control of whatever he wants to do, like the Third Reich. This man needs to be out of office soon. But if he can make all the rules and regulations, when voting comes, I think, in November to get him out, I don't know who in New Jersey would vote for him again, but you never know. But if he does get voted out, is he going to leave? <laughs> Oh my God, this is getting so bad. I got a couple more videos I want to do, but this is the one that, I think it was Shirley that sent me this. Well, she didn't send it to me. She told me about this. I looked it up. Evidently, a lot of states are doing the same thing, incentives to get the thing. How far or how long are you willing to go to hold out to not get it? This is ridiculous. This is bad. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.